Hi, Mary. I'm Genesis. I'm going to be your occupational therapist. Okay. I'm sure you already know that. I just want to reintroduce myself. Before we get started, are you feeling any pain today? No. No, did you take your medications? Yes, I took Tylenol. Perfect. <laughs> okay, great. So I understand you're having some problems taking a shower. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to um, educate you on a couple of things that you could do to make that easier for you. I know you feel a lot of weakness on your um, right and left uh, arm and leg. Okay. <laughs> and so the first thing that I want you to do is I see that you already have a shower um, bench installed into your bathroom. Yes. Which is really nice. So what I want you to do now is just I want you to sit while you're taking the shower. The next thing that I want you to use is I want you to use this detachable shower head just to make it easier for you instead of using the overhead one. Mm -hmm. Next, um, I've already went ahead and done it for you, but I want you to gather everything and put it in one shower caddy just so it's all in one space mm -hmm. for you. Um, next is I want you to also use one of these and it's just going to be easier for you to get your back um, and you just go like this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and... Um, Make sure that you're taking enough breaks throughout your whole um, shower. Um, I also have installed some non-slip mats for you here. Um, I'm also going to have to have you order some non-slip um, mats for inside of your shower just because it can get slippery and we want to avoid any falls. Okay. Now that we've gone over your education, I'm going to have you actually go ahead and try it. Before you get up, I'm just going to put this gate belt on you. Um, I just want you to be safe, so let me just put this on. Okay, so now we're just going to come up. I'm just going to be here making sure that you're safe. Go ahead and get up. You see? Yep, perfect. And just when you step in, be careful. Perfect. Now you can go ahead and sit down. Okay, um, and now the first thing is I want you to actually go ahead and gather some of your things and put them in your little box or your shower caddy. Great job, Mary. You're doing so good. Okay, that's all I use. Okay, perfect. Are you feeling tired? I'm okay right now. Okay, just let me know if you're feeling tired so we can take a break. Okay. Next, I want you to practice using how you're going to use this on your back. Good job, Mary. Oh. Nice. <laughs> okay. Perfect. And now show me how you're going to be using the detachable shower head. I'm also going to recommend that we put in some grab bars just for when you're standing up um, from sitting. It'd be easier for you. You can, of course, use this side, but just so you have support on the other side as well, um, it would be easier if we get some grab bars for you here. Um, <clears throat> maybe even here, just as you're stepping out, um, also on your toilet. Okay. Um, I looks like we're about done with our education. Did you have any questions for me? No, everything sounds great. Okay, great. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Hi Mary, how are you doing today? I'm good. Good. Okay, so my name is Minnie. I'm an occupational therapist. I'm basically here today to just teach you some different techniques that you can use to really save your energy and just save, save some time also, okay? So um, I understand you really enjoy cooking. Um, I want to just teach you a little um, trick that you can possibly use to just save some energy. So um, a lot of tasks that you do, um, like cooking tasks such as like chopping up fruits and vegetables, you could do it while sitting down just so you can like save your energy. So um, also you can also just buy pre-cut uh, pre -cut fruits or pre-cut vegetables. Um, you can also use a big bucket like this one and just gather all your materials at once um, and then just, uh, just so that you can save some time and then so you don't have to go back and forth and getting all your ingredients. Um, some other things you can use is you can use a um, water boiler. So instead of having to actually fill up the pot and just waiting for that, this is much more faster and convenient. Mm -hmm. um, also, when it comes to gathering items from your top shelf, if you often use those items, I recommend that you bring it down to counter level so that you don't have to reach over um, and all that. Um, also you can, oh, and also make sure you have a non-slip mat like this one just to make sure uh, you don't slip or anything. Um, in addition to that, 
Right, Marie. So let's just try this out. So I understand you really like making cheese, um, cheese ham crackers, yes, like little snacks. Right. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So um, you already have your ingredients right now. That yeah. We have? Okay. So let's grab this bucket just so we can just gather everything at once. Let's pretend that something. Okay. And then just follow me this way. Okay. So first you do have the crackers. So you can grab this here. Okay. Okay. Okay, um, just grab whatever ingredients you need. Yeah, so gathering everything at once just really can just save you a lot of time. Okay. Okay, perfect. Now let's just walk over here. Okay, and yes, let's do the chair. All right, perfect. So let's just lay everything out and make sure everything's organized just so you aren't too scattered. Okay. All right, and then from here, let's just grab a piece of meat. And then you, you can grab however many slices you want. I just want one. Just one. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, good. Okay, and then you can grab a piece of cheese also. Okay, and then grab however many crackers you want also. Do you feel like, um, do you feel a lot less tired doing it while sitting down? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay, perfect. All right, and then so now you can just, um, let me push this a little closer. Okay, and then so you could cut your cheese and ham in however big pieces you want. Perfect, perfect. So lift your hand. Good. Perfect. How was that? Was that good? Okay. Great. And then you can just assemble it and enjoy. Thank you. Do you have any questions for me? Um, yes. Yeah, so earlier you said that I can get um, pre-cut fruits and veggies. Where can I get those at? You can always do a um, mobile order so that they can deliver it straight to your house. And so I think in the app, you can also order whatever groceries you want in general. Oh, wow. And they can just deliver it to your house. So you can I do that. I didn't know that. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Maybe like a two? Like a two? Okay. Well, I brought some stuff for you. I'm just going to show you what we'll be doing today. All right, Mary. So this is the home program that, I, that I'm providing you with to go home. Um, so right here, it's just some instructions that you can do at home, such as, um, so we're going to go over it right now. Um, so the first one would be, you want to make sure that you want to divide each room into smaller sections. Um, maybe you have a calendar in front of you just like I did for you. Uh, so this is an example. I put it from Sunday through Saturday. So you could break down whatever chores you want to do. For instance, today's Friday. So um, what's the first thing that you like cleaning? My bedroom. Your bedroom? Okay, so you can mark down your bedroom here. Why don't you try? Saturday, do you want it to be like a resting day? That can be a resting day. Do you have any dusters or any long handled dusters? I believe I have a duster. A duster? Okay, so this is one of the dusters that has a long handle for you. That way you could conserve your energy by sitting and dusting probably like the table or like the dresser that you have in your room. Why don't you try that? See how it feels with your right arm. How does that feel? That works really well. Whenever you have a spill on the floor, you want to try to avoid um, bending over. That way you could conserve your energy by using this long handled mop. You want to try to avoid bending over and just conserve your energy by using this mop as a long handle for you. That way you could just stand and clean it. So you want to make sure when you're using a mop, um, 
whichever you prefer if you're not having that much pain on your right side um, you want to make sure you use your left side as a the controller and then you also want to make sure your right arm is active as well so I'm going to put my left hand here on my handle my right arm and then I'm just going to clean the floor just like this so that way my left arm is doing more of the mopping you want to try that well sure okay. let me stand up all right so my left as the okay nice do you have any pain right now no do you feel any pain no no all right great and um just if you feel very tired um mm -hmm. one of those days uh you're cleaning the floor you could also do it sitting down just like that that's okay. perfect <laughs> so why don't you try cleaning it now sitting down Good. Any pain when you're using your right arm? No. I feel like more of the pressure's from the left. Okay, so good. it doesn't. Okay, do you usually clean your tables? Or With the right towels. Okay, so another alternative that you want to try is using paper towels. That way it could just eliminate um, extra laundry for you. Got okay? it. So these are just techniques um, for you to use um, just to reduce your pain and just conserve your energy. And just, um, I just want to remind you that you want to pace yourself and also try to use your personal breathing that I just showed you earlier, such as breathing in for three seconds through your nose and then blowing, exhaling out like you're blowing birthday candles. All right, so that's it um, for today.